Dude, dude, you're really wearing that shirt to work? Real men wear salmon, dude. So yours active wear? That's nice, that's nice. I really like that. This is... That is the most ridiculous shirt I've ever seen in my life. Really? Have you looked in the mirror today? So what do you got? What are we doing for Friday the 13th? All right, I'm pretty excited. This is my big idea. Friday the 13th, Adam and Greg show, Freaky Friday. My mind, through some cosmic twist, winds up in your body. Your mind winds up in my body. Hilarity ensues. Okay. Uh, you want to know my honest opinion? Yeah. That is hands down the stupidest thing I've ever heard you say in my entire life. You've been in here for six hours. That's the best you could come up with. Switching bodies. What else you got? Well, I guess the big news is Viacom and DirecTV are feuding like hillbilly cousins because... Up in Idaho. True. Yeah. Because Viacom wants more money and DirecTV ain't gonna pay. Okay. So that's better. Content owner provider versus service provider. Yeah, I think it shows the stresses that are emerging in the broadcast ecosystem, especially as media evolves and moves online. So you have these license fees that broadcasters are paying to content owners, and they're not always happy. You also have the case of AMC getting cut by Dish Network. So increasingly you're seeing... Cable and satellite providers own the relationships with the customers, they're charging more money for the content, content owners want more of that pie. Right, and so then not everyone's interests are exactly aligned, and so you wind up with this kind of stuff where you wind up with all the Viacom channels suddenly going dark. All right, let's role play. Right. I'll be Viacom and you'll okay. be DirecTV. Let me tell you how this is gonna work, okay? You're gonna pay me, Viacom, one billion dollars, <coughs> you're not gonna get Comedy Central. And you know what that means? That means no Colbert Rapport, that means no South Park, and that means no Tosh.0. Oh. And the kids love Tosh.0. Oh. Look, dude, I don't have your billion dollars, okay? Like, that's ridiculous. We already agreed that we're gonna re-agree, and now you want more money. That's not cool, dude. Well, guess what? SpongeBob SquarePants, gone. No, no, dude, okay, don't take- don't MTV? Take, don't take SpongeBob, all right? Go on. All I know is that millions of our subscribers aren't watching Dora the Explorer right now, and they are fucking crying and throwing a temper tantrum. Okay? Let them, let them cry to my army of lawyers, which I will unleash across this land like a plague. I think Viacom is in the right. They make good content. Dora the Explorer is an excellent show. They deserve to get paid for it. No one is debating whether or not Dora the Explorer is quality children's programming because it obviously is. What's at issue here is that they are arbitrarily withholding content from people who are paying for it. They're just trying to get the money that they're owed. I don't understand why you have such an issue with that. I don't understand. Well, you don't want them to get paid? You don't want the, if you don't pay the content creators, guess what? The content doesn't get made. Don't use that stupid tone with me, all right? I'm not a child. Greggy. I'm the boss. I'll use any tone I d fit. Hey Adam, I got this conference room. What are you guys working on your little Adam and Greg show in here or something? I got real work to do. I need to use the phone. Why are you acting so funny? And why is Greg passed out on the couch? Again. Why is everyone calling me Adam? Oh, man. Oh, I look great. I can't believe my stupid idea worked. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about this. Oh, man, Adam is gonna be pissed that he's in my old body. This one, this was a great idea. And this is an incredible body. God, Adam must work out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes! Yes! What the hell is going on? No. Oh my. What the hell is this? What the. F I mean. This is not happening.